Jeremy Clarkson is annoying all of the right people. There's been a huge backlash following his remarks about Meghan Markle in his son column yesterday. He said he hated Meghan Markle on a cellular level. He said she's worse than Rose West, the mass murderer. And he went on to say that he was dreaming of the day when she's made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain whilst the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. He added, everyone who's my age thinks the same. Whilst I'm no Meghan Markle fanboy, I don't share his views, but he's entitled to them. I wouldn't use that language and paraded naked and throwing excrement is a bit strong for my tastes. But this guy is paid to have an opinion and he's paid to be outrageous. He's one of the country's best known and most engaging journalists and TV presenters. And it's not an accident why. He spent a career as a highly disruptive and entertaining commentator, uh, whether it's his un-PC jokes in his motoring programmes or his spicy books and newspaper columns. He spent a career being naughty and long may it continue. But predictably, the blue tick brigade on Twitter are out for his blood, with maths guru Carol Vorderman saying the following. No, Jeremy Clarkson, not on any level, in any circumstance, is it OK to write this stuff about any woman? And absolutely no to everyone who's my age thinks the same. No, no, no. We absolutely do not think the same. She goes on, listen to the noise, Jeremy. The crowds are chanting shame on you. Now, the problem is that the former Countdown Stars numbers don't add up. She hasn't done her homework. She's put two and two together and come up with five. Clarkson is clearly not saying that he wants people to publicly flog this young woman. He doesn't want her to walk down the street naked. And he doesn't really prefer the mass murderer Rose West. It's provocative journalism. And it's that other thing that the woke elite haven't picked up on and never will. That he's joking. It's deliberately outrageous language, so absurdly over the top as to be satirical and comical rather than literal. Free speech is not always pretty. It's not always comfortable. And sometimes it provides a platform for individuals that you or I may find unpalatable. Well, that's a price worth paying. And it always has been. Keep motoring along, Jeremy. This famous car fanatic must not hit the emergency brake on his provo uh, provocative journalism. Absolutely not. And please, Jeremy, no U-turns. The fact that it's offended as many people as it's entertained proves that, as always, Clarkson's work is top gear.